Welcome back to Live With All Your Heart. I'm your host, Sadia Bean, and today we're sharing about thoughts and feelings. And we have our friends with us today sharing about what they've gleaned from using their thoughts and feelings in a way that they can create the life that they want. So I said a few moments ago, thoughts, feelings, chemical. Always, we have a thought that's a wonderful thought. We have a feeling then that matches it's a wonderful feeling. And then we have a chemical that I call it tonic, like healthy chemical. And then all the body is balanced, wonderful. And if we have a thought that is not a wonderful thought, then we're going to have a feeling that it's not a wonderful feeling. And then we're going to have a chemical where the body says, fight or flight, let's take care of this. What are your thoughts about that, please? Well, I find it interesting that you use that uh, little analogy because we hardly think of the body. It's all the emotion, the thing that is happening, the thing that's coming to us. But we rarely think that it's doing something in us. So I, I like that you remind us of that, but we have the mechanism also within us to change all of that around and begin to shift our thinking processes so that we can have the emotional process, that release of the chemical in the body to then bring that same joy that we're looking for as our outcome. So that that's very interesting that we have the ability, but we have to be aware that it's there for us to decide to choose. So I, I like that about having that awareness that we have the ability to know something's happening in our body mm-hmm. based on our decisions, based on our thinking. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I agree, Juliana. If I may add to that is the, the concept that if we do not shift, we're continuing to perpetuate that biological experience inside of us. And then we're saying things like, I just can't get out, get out of this slump. But we're perpetuating ourselves, literally our physicality, into that place. And so what I have learned is not to be overwhelmed by those negative emotions. And that when I change my thinking and decide to move away from it, I move to the love-based emotions. It's amazing. I literally can feel the difference. I, I think you physically can feel the difference. And um, even if I go to the bottom of the continuum, which is just contentment, self-control, just get a handle on this, this is the thinking, think this through. Very quickly, I can move to gratitude. I can feel the difference. So when you say continuum, you're talking about, I think we have a chart in the book on page oh, 307. 307. I love this chart. It's everywhere at my desk, by my bedside, and I carry it with me at all times. Mm-hmm. And so great as you look at page 307, you're going to find a chart that has the list of, it says, love-based feelings and fear-based feelings. And we talked about being okay with our feelings, whether they're love-based or fear-based. They're okay because they're a gas gauge. Kale, what do you want to share with us about feelings? Well, feelings with me... Um I find, I don't know about you, Louise, but when I'm completely and totally just miserable or nursing the fear-based feelings, I'm exhausted for mm-hmm. the entire day or for however long I decide to continuously feed on these fear-based feelings. Mm-hmm. Totally and just completely drained. So I have to sit and I have to evaluate, okay, what fear-based emotion are you dwelling upon that is causing you to feel so drained? I then start dishing all the other ones in you you know encouraging myself uplifting you're successful you're inspired you're happy you're back continue to just you know feed myself there so i can i can just completely diminish the, the negative part of it all and just be happy again and we'll smile again it's even more comfortable and yes the situation may still be present that's you know making me feel this way However, I'm now looking at it different. I've always lived by, even before this book, a principle, you know, if you can't change the situation, change how you're viewing it. If you change how you view your situation, you know, it's better. It just works better. The situation's not going to go nowhere anytime soon, maybe. 
But if I change how I, I view everything, if I put more positive plan for positivity and things like that, then I find I'm less exhausted and I can move through my day a whole lot better. Mm-hmm. So it is planning our lives. And I want to just share that we're not aware, and the work that I do with people every day in counseling, we, be, we as people have become pretty bonded to how we feel and we let that be the guide. And as I remind people that as we're working through something and it doesn't feel good and we have a whole list that you can look at the chart and you be angry, upset, disappointed, powerless, depressed, sad. The body receives a signal and I just want to, to just talk a little bit about how that looks in the body when we feel stress. Because I believe that our country could do a little shift in that if we decide that we're going to engage in self-care. So we want you to take care of your body. We want to take care of our bodies because the heart beats faster, the blood vessels get smaller when we're stressed. It sends less oxygen to the brain so we can't think clearly. The blood that is taking care of all of our organs, lots of it gets rushed to our extremities for fight and flight. All of this is going on while we're just thinking, I don't like what's happening now. And we say that story over and over in our heads. And every time we think about it, the body goes back in that stress path. So we're talking about thoughts and feelings and chemicals and the stress on the body with the whole desire and decision, desire and decision to choose our thoughts and our feelings so we can live with all of our hearts. Stay tuned because next we're going to be talking about how we choose how we feel. How do you switch from the stress mode to taking care of the body to self-care? When we come back, our friends will share with us how they do that more about how to live with all of our hearts. We'll be right back. 